smash. It was just clean. I went through it. I know. I never. it. <laughs> you like you. Get Come to me. me. <laughs> oh my god. I shall give you care. Hi there. Thank you so much for clicking this video. So I thought to do a bit of an intro. This particular video is the part two of a video we have already filmed. The link will be in the description box. So make sure you go there to watch it so you get a gist of what exactly is going on. So my friend Sumi is going to be graduating in the next few months we nursing in the uk she did not have a bsc in nursing she actually came to the uk to study something else found out there was no job you know out there for her using that particular career and then found a course like no one had ever told her anything just google and she found this course which you could read without a nursing degree and have your master's in nursing and practice in the uk as a nurse Hope this inspires you. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. We filmed this while we're on holiday in Bath. I'm still editing that vlog, but I just thought to share this immediately. On this episode now, we're just going to talk about becoming a nurse in the UK. So Somi is a nurse right now in the UK. Obviously, she came in and then I really just love the fact that she literally leveled up her life. So right now you're doing nursing. How did you start doing nursing? So yeah. I applied. I did the. I applied for the MSc pre registration nursing, and I got admission for that. There's a lot of drilling involved anyway, but then you need to just prove. Okay, they interviewed you. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. for that. Okay, guys, she was already in the UK because she did a master's, which did not. According to that video, you would know. <laughs> Go watch it, guys. Yeah. So anyway, so you have to do all the drillings and everything. Explain yourself. Explain why you're doing this and whatnot. Yeah. And after that. They give you the admission if you're successful, and mm -hmm. yeah, you start the course. I mean, it's how, pretty intense. How much did it cost to mm -hmm. buy the application form and stuff like that? I mean, no, there's no application form. form? Okay. No, there's no application form, but you have to pay your school fees, and you have to pay about sixty five percent of it. My school fees is fourteen thousand one fifty, and that's like because I'm not in the high up their schools. So okay. the higher you go, the more expensive, the more expensive it becomes. Yeah. Because okay. So, but how did you register your interest in the previous? You said it's, you don't buy a form. No, you don't so buy you just a form. So you just go online. Something. So you okay. just go online, go there, and just apply. apply. You know. So okay. when you apply, they'll ask you to submit like you know basic things. Uh, your Wajek, proof of English. Um, I didn't do IELTS anyway, even though so some of my is like A levels. Yeah, A levels. Some people had to do IELTS, which I don't know why. Right. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they were from countries that were not speaking English. No, they were thing. Nigerians. Oh. I don't know. One of my cousins actually actually had to do IELTS. Maybe so yes. It depends. Maybe it, did she do masters like you before? No. That's why you already had a UK education, so that probably covers your English. Yeah, because some people in uni like for Canada, they do IELTS, or even if they've graduated or anything, because really? they don't really consider Nigeria as yeah, English but, speaking. Yeah, but from Northampton, so I didn't do IELTS. No, normal masters you don't do. Ah. So is this for someone to be um, required? Require that, yeah. Like I didn't do any idea or whatever, but yeah. I know countries that or schools that require that they don't take Nigerian education as yeah. as you know. So that's the reason. Because you had the masters. Yeah. I see. Okay. okay. Anyway, so they didn't ask me for IELTS. They just asked me to bring um Wayek, uh proof of English. Actually, they didn't even ask proof of English because I just gave them my transcript from, from the, the other that's, one and that they just everything. covered it. Yeah. yeah, and then they asked me to come for an interview, right. which I did, and, and basically. I went through it. I never. I went through it. I never. Thank God, really, because I was like, "Gosh, this is like." As in, only you. It's not me for this time. Anyway, but yeah, it went pretty. Actually, for mine, it's actually a testimony because after I did that interview, um, I didn't hear from them again. They said, "Oh, I needed to prove that I've done six hundred hours of care before," which okay, I you had actually gotten some time from care. From yeah, from time, the, exactly. Was it up to no, it wasn't. So, and at this time that I was doing this application, I haven't graduated still. Okay, okay. So, okay. like I said, when public health wasn't quite, you just I just went talk about something else, else and leveled no. <laughs> up, guys. Nobody's there to help you. I it's swear, like you have own. to just think. You have to just be moving, honestly. Anyway, so yeah, so um, I had care, but it wasn't up to six hundred hours. So, so when they said 600 hours, I had to start work, but luckily for so me, for it was all you <laughs> every <laughs> you, you come, come to me, to me. <laughs> oh my and Jesus. I shall give you care, ah, God. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so I quickly did that because I had like um a deadline of yeah. when to submit the 600 hours, so 
luckily for me, I was just walking back to back to back to back, and then I okay. got it. But luckily, you got good thing, yeah, I got six hundred because at that time I had like five hundred and something, so okay. I, I needed like a hundred. So anyway, so I did that and I got the six hundred hours, and which I give to them, and then they now came back to say, oh, the at this point you've done interview and everything, oh, they now came back to say, um. That you had to do another interview for credibility, something, 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 okay. before they will now guarantee that you get the, you know, you can. They, no, you've got an admission. No, okay. it's for them to give you cast. Right. Okay, for your visa extension. Your, thank you, because I, you know how to extend your visa and stuff. So anyway, it was long after. I now ended up not doing that interview. You know what? Look, God, God being so faithful, but you have to do the interview, guys. Let me just let me just put this out there. So they actually because I was running out of time. At this point, it was now January. My visa was expiring in February. Okay. So, I just one day went, went because I was here, I was local. So, yeah. I said, you know what? These people are delaying me. I'll call them. They say, oh, no, tomorrow. Oh, no, this, oh, that. So, just picked up my bag, got ready, went to Luton, straight. Got there, looking for me. I just met one man. I said, okay, they went to the office. Yeah, the went to school. university, oh, straight. Okay. And then the man, I met one man there, and I said, I've done my application. I've done this, I've done this, and done that. Like, if I'm not saying anything, my cast hasn't really I need to do my visa. And then the man said, Oh, give me a minute. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I apologize. Oh, this. Imagine. I swear, went in, came back out and said, Go pay your school fees. Wow. I'm not even joking. As and in, this is as in, I was like, hey guys. Um, Excuse me. I'm not even joking. That day I prayed. I said, God, as in, help I mean, your daughter. Well, as in, as in, at this point, you know, anyway. But the man just said, Go pay your school fees. And I was like, Okay. So after I went, paid my school fees. Oh, and luckily mm. for me, again, I, I had like, because they left 65% of yeah, it. Okay. okay. So I went and I paid and I made I paid my school fees, they sent my cast immediately, like it didn't okay, even waste right. time. Okay. So I, I've now I came back to the guy with the cast yeah. cast and said, I paid my school fees though, this is my cast, but I don't know, you guys were saying something about interview or something. I don't know. The guy now came me and said, You have your cast and you did not do the interview. Ha. My dear, just carry on. You don't need it anymore. Like God, don't even don't go around talking about it. God has done it for you. Be moving. Ah, and it was. So how did you save the sixty five percent? Oh, because the good thing is that that six hundred hours, yeah, they can take it as a pay. Like it counts even though you're getting paid. So I was working. So you were working and saving for two. So So there's so much strategy here. She researched something to do. She was working to have funds because. At some point, you ask your parents now, so them come, they were like, how many is school? I, I, see, that you went for master's master's said, just like come back, it's okay, you, you've had enough. <laughs> you've had enough. Because I'm meeting other countries, probably give them student loan. Hmm. Us in Nigeria, like, like your parents will try their best to give you some money to go, if you even have parents, because they put that, their struggles are different. In my parents, they don't have money for master's in the UK. So they are then sent out for the first one. I can tell them that there was no job. What's their business? Come back, sis. You have to be intentional. So you have to know what to you want. to save. I which is the real like a man <laughs> see, I caring was for the whole of back United to Kingdom. back honestly so i had to raise the money yeah you know and that was it that's how i was it and good thing is i had the money at the time they said go and they pay. said go because and imagine pay. because exactly. I was, you know imagine if i didn't have the money so you're having that favor because it's not just favor you need to be ready for when the, the favor comes. comes exactly Jeez, hey, like there's a lot, lot. <laughs> yeah a lot. So yeah, you just shared a miracle, and there's another miracle. Do you, should we share that one, the one that just happened as you're hey! in my house? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, let's just, let's just let's summarize it quickly. Let's, okay, okay, let's summarize it. Her cast so, had said. Uh-huh. So my cast. Uh, so at this point, I've started the course now. Yeah. And I've done the first day. That after that, so my cast said when they gave me my cast, it said uh fourteen thousand one fifty uh per co- um cost fee. Cost fee fourteen thousand right? one fifty. That's what they said. And then we've done the first year, and then second year. To be honest, to be very honest, we all knew that you know this is two years, so you pay first year, pay second year, isn't it? So now, second year has just started, and then they locked us all out and said, "Oh, you need to pay your school fees or more." But before then, yeah. somehow, yeah, you had a conversation with your friend. yeah, we, I had a conversation with my friend, and then you know, like <laughs> I had a conversation with my friend, though, like Nigerian as well, and he was like, hmm, "Oh, more." This thing said cost fee, we're not paying any second school fees. <laughs> they did not say fee per annum. Like it's not it's not my business. This is what it says. This is what home office is aware of. I don't even care. So I was like, ah, God do I beg. And who am I? If this miracle is real, let me receive yeah. it. And then you mentioned he has seen the people so, come in. So he had a friend else. that was coming like um this like the the 
second when i was second year coming in the first year yeah and then the person ran i don't even know how the person randomly sent his cast to this my friend mm -hmm. yeah and then my friend looked at it and saw cast pe ano that for that for the new ones they were down pe ano and for us it was cost fee Omo, the guy said this is our approval we're holding on to it so the moment they just came to us with pay school fees the guy said what are you saying send them back their cast your cast says cost fee not pay annum i don't even want to know like i don't understand what you are saying why are you asking for more money you already said cost fee so we just like well, she was ginger and already really telling me how she's even saying we don't even understand how that's her second year fees is going I to said, fall because it was intense in the first year so like even working yeah. the way i worked when in public it was wasn't, impossible, chicken, it wasn't just feasible at all so i was like i don't i was just telling Jama like i don't even know what to do at this Many point oh sorry Steph. <laughs> no, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> So I didn't know what to do anyway. Hmm. So we're like, okay, next thing they locked us out, finally brought us back and said they're thinking about it, they're processing something, they need to hear from someone. And they had assignments, so they quickly submitted the assignments. So, so, so okay, they assignment. them out, like, hmm. bye bye, you're, like you're done. <laughs> Just, if you're not paying, get out. That was that pretty. And these UK people are not playing with you, they need their money. Mm -hmm. you, you just carry yourself and be going. Anyway, so um, they now opened, we submitted, and then after that, they told us that um, they're, looking into it. they're not looking into it. <laughs> We just carried on. No, next thing I woke up one morning, got an email. There's some tea. I apologize. On her way to London, the... by the way. Oh yes, yes. The miracle was on my way to this train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's some tea. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Um, uh, sequel to our communication error or something like that. Uh, we decided to wave wave. Your As like, can we just imagine you like that? See you wave. Hey. <laughs> Wave. Nobody has wave anything. <laughs> wave us. You know, and it's not even just I'm not they're not waving. They don't say we're waving half of it. They wave 14 oh, as in 14. everything. Huh. If this one is not good, I don't know again. Seriously, guys, there's again. just so much to be learned. Communication. Honestly. In that my level up, I'll be how to get the life you want, how to become the woman you want video. I study communicate. Say where you so want to be, say where you want because you just oh, never yeah, know. Way, guys, I live in Chelsea. It's <laughs> a Chelsea resident in the UK. Anywho, yes. So, guys, well, I don't know. Whatever you want to take from this story, take right now. She's going to be in her second year very soon. Graduating as oh, she's in her I'm second going to year. Do, like a few months. Graduating in a few months. We're going to be rocking that graduation like nothing else. She's already doing. In fact, yesterday we're touring. This girl hey. did interview. Like interviews are already coming for her nursing. <laughs> If you don't know how to get any gist or message or lesson from this story, I don't know where you're going to get your lessons from. Anyhow, that's it. We have a coach to catch right now. Yeah. Yeah, we have 15 minutes. <laughs> no, sorry, we have 20 minutes as a 17 minute walk. So we have to go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow her on Instagram at Sombas. She also has the nurse. What's the nurse? Um, student nurse, nurse Somi. So it's underscore student underscore nurse underscore Somi. Yeah, please don't sc uh, scatter her DMs with questions <laughs> and anything, but she just feel free to No, I mean, go ahead and ask me. That's okay. fine, actually. That's I don't good. mind. Okay, then. Answer. Thank you so, so much, Somi, for coming Yay. to my channel. You've done like three videos now. This is the third one. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye bye. bye. bye.